And generally speaking, we're not fans of balanced billing approaches because many times what happens is that a balanced billing program masks the fact that the overall energy effective rate is very high. By spreading that out over a long period of time, it makes it harder for someone to see that they're paying a rate that is materially higher. They may be paying rates that are twice as high or one and a half times higher than what the competitive environment would be providing to them. And we, we hear that a lot where folks say, well, if you take me out of balanced billing, are my summertime rates going to be just astronomically high or my wintertime rates, depending upon if you've got electric heat? And, and oftentimes what we find is, is that the worst month's bill is about what the balance billing amount was. Uh, it's just because they're paying so much more uh, in the native energy rate and it just takes so long to pay that off in these other months that they, they end up being uh, paying a lot less in the, in the non-high non demand periods of time and they pay about what they were paying before on balance during, during the high demand time. So.